Hello everyone. Today we look into a um, couple of things regarding the um, Zeitgeist movement. And this is to some extent unrehearsed, so it may turn out quite crappy, but just uh, stay with me. Uh, first, on the order of business, is what I call the alien planet approach. I've touched on this on a previous video, um, and I think we need to get into further detail here. Here's what I'm talking about. Uh, let's take the Moon, or Mars, or any sort of uninhabited planet. Um, what the Zeitgeisters would do uh, here would make a lot of sense. So you get all your people and the resources on a spaceship, and all the specialists, and they go there, they scan the planet, or maybe they've previously scanned it, scanned it, and they have a rough idea what they're going to do. They get there, they apply the plan, and it works. In a couple of years you have the domed cities, and the gardens, and the, the hydroponics, and everything's working, and people are riding monorails, and using the power of the sun, and the winds, and the whatever, and it's all happy. So this again is on Mars, the moon, any sort of uninhabited planet. Now, the alien planet situation is a bit different. And it's, uh, let's say you take planet X, right? And you want to go to somewhere like this, you know, you have your resources, you know, specialists and your planners, and then something happens along the way, and you end up here. And planet X is inhabited by spear-wielding, no, by nuclear spear-wielding spear space fucking aliens, right? And you have to deal with it. What, whatever you had planned here, just scan the planet, take everything that you need, will not work here because it's fucking inhabited, right? So you have a small crash landing site. Let's say you don't get killed on site for whatever relig religious reasons they say you've been sent by the gods, you can keep your crash landing site, but don't spread it out into our shit, uh, just taking all our stuff and trying to convert our people, because we'll put you to uh, death and um, eat you all. So you have to make it work. Now, we can judge the sort of things that are uh, talked about in the Zeitgeist movement by how well this situation would uh, turn out for them. Here's what I'm saying. Let's say a bunch of capitalists, just regular, normal people from today, fall on this planet. Uh, in my opinion, if they get a chance to trade and to do their things, to do their, their just apply their skills, uh, they'd have a pretty decent chance of survival. I mean, if the natives are open to trade for any needed resources, clean water or whatever food, in, in exchange for technology or artwork that we do or anything, we'd turn out decently Okay. Now, Zeitgeisters, what they claim here on Earth is that their whole economy cannot work unless it's global. And that I find very out there. I find very unreasonable. Uh, because nothing can be global from the start. And how would you get... I mean... Hmm, I don't know if this makes any sense. The principles of automation, of using the scientific principle, of finding out the, the best materials, and that's all good, that works. And it's absolutely something we should uh, look into. The idea that it has to be global for something to work, uh, I think is just insane. Because you can get a, an encirclement, a camp, or a couple of camps, or, or enclaves, or whatever you want to call them, monasteries, if you want to be a cult, and place them around the planet, and have them trade with each other and with the outside world, and it would, could definitely work. It's a decent business model. Now they say they can't do that. They need to first convert all the planet, and then only can they start. Um, obviously, this approach will get you killed in a matter of weeks uh, out here if you refuse to trade and instead try to convert. It may kill you, get you killed in uh, day one if you're being told not to attempt to convert anyone, and then you go have a talk with the high priest about conversion. So, I think uh, a group of forward-thinking Zeitgeisters, or RBEers, right, uh, that crash land on, on such a planet 
would be able to do it. They just implement their they, they implement their their automation, their, the scraps of their spaceship, and the, all the principles of an RBE on a small scale. So amongst each other, they don't have property. They have like a large commune, and they work and they trade with the outside world for resources. And it's a stable system. Um, they can respect the natives and their way of life. They don't have to convert anything. And most of all, they're, they're free to implement their stuff on any scale on any planet. They don't have to own the whole thing or, be, or have their system spread to the whole thing. It's not feasible. Um, now, for some reason, uh, they say that on Earth this doesn't work. Uh, my, my just gut feeling, my hunch, is that they're just um, uh, afraid of failure. That's why they don't even try to do it. They say it's not possible because they don't have the know-how to do it. They, none of them, as far as I know, have built any sort of successful business like a, a working, functional McDonald's franchise or any sort of thing like that that will work. And so they don't have the resources to, and the know-how <laughs> to make a functional society. And also there are many um, things on the social aspect, I mean, how such a group would work, that they haven't figured out. So they cannot build it. And so they, they sort of um, delay the inevitable by saying, oh, we can't build that now, we can't build with half a million people, we need everybody. Which, of course, is just like, okay, we'll, we'll touch on this in another video. So that's my first question. How, um, I mean, would this uh, current approach of the Zeitgeist movement, the current application of their principles, would it work on an alien planet? Uh, do you think that an alien, so an inhabited planet like the Earth or, an, or planet X, should be approached with uh, this uh, scan the planet, take everything uh, plan that is basically meant for, for an uninhabited one. I mean, do you think it's the same? Do you think you can use this sort of approach uh, on this? I think not, and I think um, this is why the, the current incarnation of the movement will fail here. So, but if you have any other opinions, just um, feel free to share. And yeah, I'll stop this movie here, this video here, and do some more for some other topics.